All right, guys, here we are today. Um, we're all here in some alfalfa fields. Um, alfalfa is obviously a hot topic in the countryside right now, figuring out what's good, what's bad, what's going on in my fields. Um, so what we have here, we're actually sitting on a split. Um, the field to our left here, uh, had the last cutting was in August. Um, the field to my right, the last cutting was actually in September. Um, so we're all here checking plants, looking at um, what's going on in our hay fields. Um, so we dug some plants up here, Brad, what are we seeing? Uh, definitely uh, noticeably healthier crowns, uh, more uniform green up. Uh, you can see to the left here we got the stubble left over from that growth here last fall which I think helped us capture the little snowfall we did have. But uh, overall we def definitely uh, seeing healthier, healthier crowns, more uniform stands, and uh, more uniform green up. So. And then on, on this side, so you can see kind of the residue here, and on this side, we're like I said, we're right on that split where there's hardly any residue here. So we dug up these plants here, um, the Mona Crone Rot that uh, we can see going on at the top. I know it's hard to see right now, but the Mona Crone Rot, you can see just how our green up is, how much poorer that is. We got a couple green stems on there. Um, so it's one of those things is we didn't have that Mona residue to help cover that plant. And with the lack of snow cover, the harsh environments that we had this winter, uh, what toll is that taking on our on our alfalfa stands this year? You know, so it's one of those things that we just, we're encouraging guys to get out in your fields. Um, it's a little early to tell you, but at least it'll give you an idea of what fields I need to continue looking at further um, by looking at those tap roots, looking at that crown, looking at our uh, um, green up on it. Um, it's one of those things, and then in some of those heavier soils, um, poor drainage, we're seeing a little bit of heaving going on. Um, so it's one of those things where from the road that plant looks green, but when you get in there, that plant may be heaved three, four inches. It's still green a little bit, um, cause it's still getting a little bit of moisture, still has some of those reserves built into it. But when that runs out, that plant runs out. So we need to help diagnose what fields we need to look at um, and go that route. Uh, typically what we're seeing on, on most plants dug up here on the August cutting, you know, the crown's nice and healthy white, uh, little reserves left in the roots. And majority of the plants we're digging up here on the, on the other side where we took that late cutting, we pulled the reserves out of the plant. We're seeing uh, a lot of uh, browning, a lot of the crown deteriorating with the wet weather we're experiencing. And uh, the plant's struggling here to green up. The soil temperature out here today is at 44 degrees. And uh, the best case scenario right now, we could just use some warmer weather and a little bit of sunshine.